Well, hey there, hammock aficionados. It's old Shug here. Let's think about this. Hammock fabrics. And hammocks are different than a tent. A tent you set up and you crawl in and lay on a pad. A hammock, you're basically kind of wearing it like a strange little suit that you're going to sleep in all night. You feel that fabric. Is it denim? Is it cotton? Is it like a nice silk suit you're wearing? Is it linen? Could it be seersucker? Is it wool? Are you wearing something made out of burlap? The feel, the texture, the strength. Let's take a breath, sit down, and let's focus on these hammock fabrics. I've heard the word ripstop fabric all my life, and I gotta tell you, because I'm not a deep thinker, I never really stopped to think about what ripstop meant. So ripstop is usually a fabric, like a nylon, and in the weaving process, what they do is take some synthetic type fibers and take that first fabric and they weave these fibers through it. So that's if you ever really take a close look at a lot of ripstop, you'll see it's got this little checkity pattern. Some of them now have these diamond patterns that might be up to like to a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch. So if that fabric tears, that weaker fabric like a nylon or whatever that may be, these threads in essence stop that tear from happening. So it stops the rip, thus the name ripstop. It's got a, a very high strength to weight ratio. It's a strong fabric, it's breathable, and that's what most hammocks are made of. This is my war bonnet El Dorado right here, and it is a 70D ripstop nylon. And a lot of fabrics have these have these names Monolite, HyperD, Dreamtex, Airweave. These are just different uh, mills or suppliers or people that manufacture and it given a cool name. Like my real name Sean, but I like to call myself Shug or Ripstop. I find a 70D just to be comfortable. It's got enough stretch, you know, but not too much. What does denier mean? When you see that D, 70D, 110D, 40D, 30D, what does that D stand for? Dunno. So denier is a unit of measurement which describes linear mass density in a given material. Basically what they say is one strand of silk is a denier. One human hair, an average hair, is about 20 denier. So you put all these denier or deniers or deniers together, that is, I guess that's the unit mass density. I like to break it down that a 70 denier is pretty strong. So when you order a hammock like, let's say, Dreamtex on Warbonnet, or you go to somebody else's site and you see they have a 40 denier. And this, this goes for tarps too, or a 20 denier, or a 30 denier. The lower you go, 20 is a much lighter material. You know, the, uh, some of the thicker materials on a hammock don't have as much stretch. Like the 70 denier, it's just a little bit. Again, this comes down to you. It's like, do you like to wear your shirts tight? Do you like a loose shirt? Do you like your pants to be skinny jeans? Or do you like a little ample room? You like that athletic cut where you, you got those huge thighs? It's really a personal preference. Because if you uh, become an avid hammocker, eventually you're probably gonna go to the one of the cottage manufacturers like Hammock Gear or War Bonnet, Dutch Wear, dream hammock all these people that that make custom hammocks and they're going to give you some choices of fabric i'm assuming that maybe some of you are going to want to diy meaning make your own hammock a lot of people love doing that and i recommend it it's not too hard to do but if you make a hammock you know you're going to go somewhere and buy a material probably a ripstop all right and somewhere it's going to come up, they'll go, you want calendared or uncalendared? So what does uncalendared and calendared mean? Basically, calendared is a, is a process where they take a big piece of nylon, they fold it in on itself, and they run it through a machine in a mill that has these huge hot rollers. And it sort of presses the fabric is what it does. So when you unfold it, there's a shiny side and there's kind of a matte finish side. The, the sides that are folded in are matte and the outside will be shiny pushes all those little gaps together. A lot of people use calendar material for making sleeping bags and uh, top quilts and under quilts because really it's downproof. So because the material has been kind of hot pressed, it's harder for those little down feathers to escape. Gives the fabric a little bit more wind resistance. And if it's uncalendered, that's just fine to make a hammock out of. It just means it doesn't have that process. A little bit more wind will cut through it, you know, 
which would be probably great for the summer, especially if you live down in one of those hot states like Texas or something to give yourself a little breeze. So that's basically what calendared means. And uncalendared is just the opposite, meaning it has not gone through that hot press process. Yeah, hey, hey, everybody, it's hot press process here talking to you. I love my hammock, yes I do. I fall into it and I fall into a deep slumber. I don't ever count the number like 70 or 40 D. I just get on into it and enjoy my hammock, don't you see? Yeah! So nylon, if you don't know, is a synthetic material. I think it was invented in the 1930s sometimes and that's the word we hear the most in our camping gear. You hear the word nylon a lot, but when you start getting into the words you're going to see a lot in hammocks, nylon taffeta. That's a combination of those two fabrics. Taffeta can be made out of wool, so that's a that's an organic natural material, but you combine that with the nylon. Now taffeta can be made out of wool or rayon or silk or nylon. Now taffeta is when I had my debutante ball, I had my gown made out of taffeta. It's a shiny, somewhat crinkly material with a soft hand. Taffeta. Now let's just talk about a hammock. Let's start with an Eno because a lot of you have them. They're, they're readily available at a lot of stores. So if you get an Eno, look at it online or go to their site, you're going to see that it's made out of a 70D high tenacity taffeta. What up in the pasture? It's high tenacity taffeta here. Yeah, feel me? Touch me. Yeah, but don't talk to me. So basically what high tenacity taffeta is, it's, just, it's a breathable nylon. You're, you're going to look at some hammocks and see this 210T. So yeah, 210T is like a 70D, and it could also be what you call a 1.9 when you start seeing some of these fabrics like a Hyper 1.9 or a Ripstop 1.9. We're talking thread count here, everybody. We're talking weight. Are you confused? I am. Now, another hammock you'll see on Amazon or different places and people ask me about is called the bare butt hammock. They're made out of a 210T fabric, but as far as I know, it's a 75D. So you look at a Hennessy hammock, all right? They got a lot of kinds. Well, I'm just gonna pick the Hennessy Expedition made of a 70D nylon. All right, here's another hammock. I don't have one. It's called a Kamok. We'll just talk about their Kamok Rue. That hammock is made out of a high tenacity lunar wave diamond weave ripstop nylon. Actually, I think the diamond grid they're talking about has a little less stretch. It, it's still going to give a little bit, but it's not one of these ones you get in the stretches way down. Um, it's a treated DWR fabric. DWR means durable water repellent. So that fabric has been treated with something that doesn't make it waterproof. It makes the water kind of beat up and roll off. So there's a hammock out on the market called a hummingbird hammock. It really packs down about that small. I don't own one. And it is made out of a fabric that's super lightweight. It's a PIA 4478 parachute material. What? It's kind of a thin material, got a tensile strength of about 50 pounds per square inch. This is just my personal opinion. I don't want to risk that my hammock's going to bust or fall and hit the ground after all that work I put into walking out there. When it's time to slumber down, man, that's what I look forward to and I want to feel safe in it. So this is a big consideration with your hammock fabrics. Look at the weights and what the weight will bear. Go to each manufacturer, look under their specs, see what the material is and see what the weight bearing is because you'll see a lot of hammocks, particularly on Amazon, it'll say parachute material. Now. Parachute material's got a lot of range. When they say parachute material in the hammocks, they're usually talking about a nylon, and they don't mean ripstop. So a lot of times, parachute material does not mean that it has the ripstop grids in there. It's a strong nylon, but it doesn't have those threads to stop the rip, so to speak. You know, they tried to call it stop the rip nylon. No one liked it. Rip stop. Another popular hammock out there is the Grand Trunk series of hammocks with the Skeeter Beater Pro and all of that. So most of their hammocks are the 210T, which is pretty much the same as a 70D, 70 denier nylon. So even like that Amok hammock I was in in the very beginning of the video, that big 90 degree hammock, that's a 70D nylon. But if I feel that nylon compared to this nylon, they feel very different. Be a good moment to jump back to that double layer hammock. If you're using a double layer, most people put the heavier layer, let's say a 1.9, on the outside, and let's say something like a 1.1 monolite or whatever on the inside. You can hold more weight with two layers. 
If you put a 2.2 hex 70 on the outside and a 1.9 ripstop on the inside, that's going to hold a person that's about 600 pounds. That's pretty impressive. You know, one of the best places to to get fabric, buy fabric, and, and read about some descriptions of fabric is a place called Rip Stop by the Roll. If you go to a site and you look at a particular fabric, you can go and get explanations of that fabric, how it's made, do they make it, what the weave is, well, what sort of fabrics they're putting together, what the strength to weight ratio is, what the denier is, on and on and on and on. They'll even tell you what it's good for make, and maybe it's just stuff sacks or sleeping bags that'll let you know if it's good for a hammock. Now I'm going to put the link for Ripstop by the Rolls hammock fabric comparison chart below in this description box. And you can look at each fabric, click on it, go see what the fabric's made of, it gives the weight. And there's also another box when you get down below, and it'll show you like, uh, say you want to make a double layer, it'll give you all the great options for which layer to be outside, which layer to be inside and what weight those two will hold together. So different mills are gonna make different grades of this fabric as far as I can tell. But here's some other hammock fabrics that are available and you can look at these at Ripstop by the Roll. You get your 1.0 Hyper D. Also they have your 1.0 Mono Light. You've also got your 1.1 Ripstop. Good for about 200 pounds. They have a 1.3 MTN XL Hybrid material. It's a new material, it's supposed to be really strong and comfortable. I think it's good to 275 pounds. They also have a 1.7 in that MTN, and that uh, has just single weight will hold up to 400 pounds. So apparently it's a really strong fabric. And again, you're not gonna have to worry about any of these fabrics unless you start ordering hammocks from these cottage vendors that give you the choices. Sometimes it's easier not to have a choice. Back in my day, kids, uh, hammocking was a lot easier. There was less choices. We didn't have as many choices. There was chocolate and vanilla. It goes on and on. The choices are limitless, unlimited. They go on and on, ad infinitum forever into infinity. I feel for you. I feel for you. Now you go to DutchWearGear.com. He's going to give you basically choices of Hexon. And I think he has it in 1.0, 1.6, and a 2.4, which is the strongest. So each manufacturer is going to give you these different choices. Arrowhead gives you some Airwave as a choice for some hammocks, or a 1.130 D that they use in some of their hammocks. Now if you go to hammockgear.com and get one of their hammocks, I think they're using pretty much for most of their stuff a 40 D ripstop nylon. But each one, different stretch, different strength, different feel. It's just like clothes. You're wearing your hammock. Well, this was kind of, probably kind of a boring technical video, and uh, I didn't even want to do it. I figured if there was a, ever a time to do it, it was now during this pandemic. Maybe you're the, so bored. That's why it's nobody wants to talk about it. It's a dirty little secret, these hammock fabrics. I don't even want to talk about it now. I feel dirty. I would like for you to know that is not a power line behind me, but it is a phone line. I'd like to say it's been a long time since I've done that. And I liked it.